sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise, praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most, most holy, O sacrament divine, all, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. My dear friends, we are in the presence of the Lord. Acknowledge Him as He is right in front of us. For you, He is right in front of you. You are there at home. And He is there to tell you that I am with you always. Those words are so beautiful. I am with you always. It also includes I am with you everywhere. Wherever you call my name, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. And therefore, friends, as you are before the Blessed Sacrament, try to spend this one hour in His presence as a family. As Pope Francis has called today, the whole world, the universal Catholic Church and all the other religions as well, to join in for prayer, for fasting and charity. Part of our exercise for prayer is to be before the Lord, is to be at the feet of the Lord, and therefore we are here at the feet of the Lord. You are there right in front of your system, at the feet of the Lord. Feel as though the Lord has come into your house, like how we came into Martha and Mary's house, and how Martha was busy, but Mary was at the feet of the Lord. The Lord has come into your house, the Lord is now taking his place. Be at his feet. And that is the moment where you can talk to him, spend this hour listening to him, singing hymns to him, worshipping him and adoring him and glorifying him. He wants to come into your life. He, come, he wants to come into your heart. He wants to enter into your lives. And therefore he says, I want to enter into your house. I want to enter into your home. I want to enter into your very life. Which means, the Lord is waiting. The Lord is waiting. And he gives you an opportunity that as he is waiting, it is for you to open your heart. It is for you to experience his presence. And feel that he is coming into your home. And that is how we will experience that the Savior is there. He is there with us. He is there with each one of us. I want you to close your eyes and experience the Savior who is waiting to enter your heart your life, your home. As you spend this, sing the hymns, the Savior is waiting to enter your heart. Him in your new hymn book 403. The Savior is waiting to enter your home. The Savior is waiting to enter your heart. Why don't you let him come in? The 
Savior is waiting to enter your heart. Why don't you let him come in? There's nothing in this world to keep you apart. What is your answer to him? Time after time, he has waited before, and now he's waiting again to see if you're willing to open the door. Oh, how he wants to come in. You take one step towards the Savior, my friend. You'll find his arms open wide. Receive him and all of your darkness will end. Within your heart seal abide. Time after time. Has waited before, and now he's waiting again to see if you're willing to open your door. Oh, how he wants to come in! Oh, how he wants to come in! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Savior, for coming into my house, for coming into my life, for coming into my very self. Lord, I'm not worthy to have you under my roof, but you have come. Lord, I'm so glad that you are here right in front of us. Thank you for your visit. Thank you for filling our homes with your presence. Thank you for filling our lives with your presence. My dear friends, be seated, sit comfortably, and put your open hands, palms on your thigh. Let the Lord come. Sit comfortably. Put your hands, put your palm open on your thigh and pray in your own words. Pray in your own words. Asking him to come and fill you with his love, with his mercy, with his healing power, with his strength and with his presence. Spend these few minutes praying in your own words to the Lord.
welcomed him. He is there with you. Seriously, you had prayed with him. And you are there. Now, I want you as a family, sing your family hymn, which you like to him to sing together and praise and worship him. I'm not going to sing any hymn here, but I want you to sing. Sing a nice hymn to the Lord who is present right in front of you, in your system, in your smartphone, in your TV. Pick up a nice hymn, select a nice hymn, and I'll give you five minutes to sing a beautiful hymn and praise and worship him and adore him. He needs that worship. He needs that adoration. He needs that, take that part. Sing your hymn. Maybe your favorite hymn. Don't worry about the words. If you have a hymn book, keep the hymn book at the side. If you have a Bible, keep the Bible ready. But now I want you to sing this hymn to praise and worship Him. As a family, you have a beautiful opportunity to be before the Lord. It's a God-given opportunity, I'm sure. Mommy, daddy, brothers, sisters, husband, wife, if somebody is not there, don't worry. If somebody is in the kitchen, let them be like Martha, working. But you before, be before the Lord. You sing a hymn. If you are alone, sing it loud and clear. I give you some time for this, to sing and praise and worship Him.
Thank you, Lord, for the beautiful moment that a family could sing together. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to be before you. I want you to finish singing this hymn, which you are now singing, and be ready for a reading from the Bible. I request you to take Psalm 91 as we are in the presence of the Lord. The Lord wants to assure you of his protection, assurance of God's protection for you. Psalm 91, I know many of you read it every day. I know many of you when you are in trouble fear, anxiety, or going for a work and important, you read this Psalm 91. And I know many of you are by heart with this Psalm. This is the assurance of God's protection. Therefore, Pope Francis has called us for prayer, for fasting, for charity, so that we receive his protection in abundance. Take your Bible and go to Psalm 91. We will all pray together this psalm. Take the psalm to as a family. I request all of you look into the Bible and pray this psalm. Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his poison. And under, and under his wings he will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or pestilence that stalls in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you. No surges come near you. For he will, he will command his angels concerning you and to guard you in all your ways. On their hand they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lions and the adder, the young lion and the serpent. You will trample on the foot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them 
and show them my salvation. What a wonderful way of assuring that God gives us that he wants to look after us and he says I am there therefore let us not be worried or be tensed but rather do the work of God be caught up in doing his work and that is what we will do, my dear friends. Spend these five minutes and reflect on the many ways God had protected you in your work, in your home, in your travel, in your driving, when you were going from one place to another, when you were doing many works, risking your life, as a family, as an individual, you have received the protection. Now I want you to reflect on the many protections that you have received. Just reflect and recall. You met with an accident, but you're still alive. You went through a crisis of your sickness, a dreaded disease is gone. You had problem in the office, it's gone. You had worries about your finances, it's gone. Many protections that you have received, reflect. Look at the Lord and reflect. Rewind and find out how, many, how much of protection you have received from our Lord Almighty.
I told you that you will be unable to number the amount of protections that you have received right from your birth to this very day. How many times he has protected you? How many times he was there for you? It looks like he is a prodigal God for us. In spite of all our weaknesses, he is there with open arms protecting us. A prodigal God. A God who can do wonders. How much of protection? And we got used to it. So much so we don't count the number of protections that we have received. Thank you, Lord, for the number of times, number of times that you have protected. I'm sure, Lord, sometimes the whole day, the entire 24 hours you have protected us. The whole year, our entire age, you have protected us. So in a way, millions and millions and trillions of times, you have protected us. And Psalm 91 is very beautifully telling me that my Lord is the one who has protected me million and trillions of times. Thank him for this with all your heart. Thank him for he has done wonders in your life. Tell him, Lord, you have done so many wonders in my life. Why can't I do one? One wonder for you. Give me that spirit that I may use the power of the spirit in me to do that wonder for you. Help me. Sometimes it's not easy for me to do a wonder, to do something for you in return. But Lord, with your help I can do it. So help me. Empower me. Tell me what I should do. Give me your orders and I will do it. I will come running to you. Now that I feel that you have done so much for me, protecting me million and trillion of times, I like to sing this song to say, I still urge for you. I still desire for you. I long for you, Lord. I sing the same. As a deer pants for the water. Hymn number 273. And don't leave the Lord. If he has protected you so many times, have that urgent desire come to him again and again. As a dear pen for water, so my soul longs after you. To you alone, may 
my spirit be. You alone are my heart, desire and I long to worship you. You are my friend and you're my brother. virus world. I want you to pray spontaneously. Pray. The Lord is there in front of you. As a family, I'll give you five minutes to pray together. Maybe if you are alone, say the family prayer. The family prayer that you say together. Or say your own prayer before the Lord. Five minutes.
I pray for all these families who are there at the adoration. I pray for each and every one who is right in front of the sister looking at you, Lord. I pray for them. They are your children. I pray for Pope Francis who has called this day for prayer, fasting and charity. I pray for all the bishops, priests, religious and the laity. As a family we have come together to pray, to fast and to give charity. So that we experience your great protection, Lord, your great deliverance from all evil and more especially from this dreaded coronavirus pandemic. The urgency is there because more than two and a half lakh people have died. Lord, two and a half people, a big chunk of humanity is gone. I pray for those families who have lost their loved ones. Be with them, Lord, at this hour of pain and suffering and losing their loved ones, causing so much of void and loneliness. Millions and millions of people have lost their jobs, lost their families. Pray for them, Lord. Restore them. Migrants still walking. Migrants still unable to understand to stay or to go to their native land. But they are making the uncertainty of that voyage, that journey. And Lord, we pray for them. Because of this pandemic, crisis, they are walking, some are going without anything, some on their journey back home died, and Lord we are here praying and asking you to release us from this pandemic. We have learned a lesson from you Lord from these enemies that come to destroy us, the enemy of the COVID-19. We know it is from the Satan. It is not from you. It is from the Satan, the satanic influence. And Lord, if I have you, and if you are my God, I depend on you. And therefore, when we pray as a family, we will pray saying that I have a God and let any problem cause. My God is there. My big God is there for any big problem. I need you, Lord, that you give us a solution. Let the church rejoice on the finding of the vaccine. Let the church rejoice on the deliverance of this coronavirus. Let the church glorify on receiving your almighty power and the Holy Spirit to inspire that we may receive an antidote for this problem. Humanity has come to you, Lord. When we see all the religions are going to do this part, praying today, we who have a true God is here with us and we are asking you, Lord, to bless us with a solution. We will never forget these days of lockdown, these days of crisis, it will be remembered and we will teach our children and our children's children of the suffering that the whole world has gone through, losing more than two and a half lakh people who have died, 
and now still another 42 lakh people are positive COVID-19. Lord, we need your powerful stretching hands upon each and every one who is affected that they may receive your healing power. Bless us, Lord, in your mighty name, that your name, which is above all names, that every knee shall bow before you, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. And I come before you, Lord, to tell you that you are there for me. Let this be our prayer. And pray continuously, without ceasing throughout this day, we have just this one hour adoration. But see that you do many prayers as a family. We know our Blessed Mother always intercedes for us very powerfully. I love one of the prayers in the Mother of Perpetual Help, Novena. And that Novena, there is a beautiful prayer. Many of you have a devotion to the Novena, to the Mother of Perpetual Help. And uh, we shall say that prayer. Yes, it's that prayer in temporal wants. That prayer which we say it very fervently. Many of you know it by heart. Therefore, let us pray together before our Lord who is here upon our altar in front of you the prayer in temporal wants. O Mother of Perpetual Health, with the greatest confidence we kneel before you, we implore your help in the problems of our daily life. Trials and sorrows often depress us. Reverses of fortune and painful privation bring misery into our lives. Everywhere we meet the cross, have pity on us, compassionate Mother. Take care of our needs. Free us from our suffering. Or if it be the will of God that we should suffer still longer, grant that we may endure all with love and patience. These graces we ask, trusting not in our own merits, but in your love and power. O Mother of perpetual help. She is a perpetual help interceder and I'm sure today she is so happy to see all of us praying, fasting, doing some charity. She will be telling her son, the humanity is shaken up, the humanity is on the knees, the humanity is crying, the humanity needs you. And Jesus will listen to his mother. My hour is not yet come, he may tell. But finally, do what he tells you is what we will hear from Mary. Concluding this hour of adoration, let us do what Jesus tells us. Pray in silence to receive the benediction. Pray in silence for your needs. Maybe as a family you have many needs, pray for your needs. Maybe you want to go back to your family caught up because of the lockdown, pray for that now. Maybe you have lost a job, Pray that you may receive it as soon as the lockdown is gone. Maybe you're missing your near and dear ones far away. Pray now. Maybe you have now financial crisis because of no salary. Pray now to the Lord. Maybe 
you are unable to understand the situation, pray now. Maybe you are working at home, and working at home is not easy. Every time working at home becomes double the work, even in the office, you may have rest, but in the home, it will be very tough to work at home. Pray that the Lord may ease you. Pray that you experience this great God who can do wonders in our lives. Pray also specially that our churches may be opened again, that our fellowships may continue, that our service and liturgy service and masses may continue in the churches. Pray for all our children who are locked down within four walls sometime. Pray for the young boys and girls, the youth. They don't know what to do. They're full of life, but now curtailed, not able to do anything. Pray for them. Pray for many people who are caught up with, not able to adjust at home, because of which there is some domestic violence. Lord, bring peace at home. My peace I give you, you said. Give it, Lord. Give it to them. Let them experience their beautiful peace. There are sick people who are not able to go to the hospital. There are people with cancer. Lord, at this moment, stretch out your hand and touch all these people also who have different other sicknesses apart from coronavirus, COVID-19. Heal them at this moment, Lord. Touch them so that they will remember that during the coronavirus, my cancer disappeared, my uh, arthritis, my diabetes, my this, my that has disappeared. Let it be like that, Lord, for we know that you can do wonders in our lives. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Savior. We worship you. We adore you. And we pray for all these needs and the needs that are deep down in our hearts. For all the doctors, the nurses, the COVID warriors, the government, the people who are working for a vaccine, pray for them. Pray for all those essential workers, our maids, our cooks, our vendors. our daily grocery, our rations, our immediate needs, our basic necessities, our basic animities. Lord, we have endless needs. We have endless needs, Lord, but we come before you to receive your blessing. We come before you to receive this benediction. Let us all kneel and receive this benediction from the wonderful God, our Savior, who is there present, waiting to bless you. Dominado, Rishon i
sacrament has left us the memorial of thy passion. Grant us, we beseech thee, so to engrave the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that we may ever experience within us the fruit of your redemption, who lives and reigns well without end. Sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, O So 